I thought I would show you something quite cool that I got, which I haven't seen before. I've seen people sort of make their own ones, but I didn't know you could buy them. And these are little advent stockings. So instead of having a normal advent calendar, you hang this on the wall and you can fill it with your own treats, whether that's like a little chocolate or like it shows on here, a candy cane. And I think this is a really good idea, even if you got it for someone as a gift but like a pre-Christmas slash run it to Christmas gift because you could fill it with their favourite chocolate or sweets. I haven't actually bought the chocolate to go in here yet so I think I'm going to pop out tomorrow and get some. I'll probably get some of mine and my boyfriend's favourite so whenever he's over he can catch up and have some nice chocolate. All I'm thinking is you'd have to get something that was already in a wrapper like little celebrations or something because otherwise it would probably stick and go all gross inside the sack because of the material if that makes sense. It's currently the 30th of November which means this starts tomorrow so I'm gonna be a day behind but that's fine. And in terms of normal advent calendars this is mine the galaxy one and this is Ryan's for when he's here. When I last filmed, I think I was showing you the stocking advent calendar that I put up on the wall. Although it looked really nice and I loved where it was on the wall, the cellar tape just wasn't holding and I wasn't about to go tapping nails into the wall. So me and Ryan tied it around the end of the bed instead. So I thought I'd just show you that now. They're a little bit more bunched together, but I think it still looks cute. So I put two chocolates in each one. I tried to put one that Ryan likes and one that I like. So we have one each, but obviously if we both like them, then we just pick whichever one we want on that day. It's currently the 7th, so we've got a bit of catching up to do. And even though these look empty, there's actually one chocolate in them because Ryan hasn't eaten his. It sounds like a good thing, but where we don't see each other every single day, if he comes over like once in the week, he has seven chocolates to catch up on. And then for our actual advent calendars, I've literally eaten like three. And the same for Ryan, so we've got lots of chocolate to eat. This is currently in my room. This has all of the wrapping paper in. I'm actually really disappointed in the Matalan ones. They're really hard to stick down. So I've been resorting to some that I had from last year. But it's still really pretty, like this one with the reindeers on. And I needed more tags, so I went to the little shop by me and I got these little stick-on ones. I also bought more cellar tape and more bows because I love putting bows and stuff on the present. Once it's wrapped, I hate it looking plain. And then I ended up getting this paper for my little sister because I thought it was just so cute. And she loves pink like me. A little unicorn one. This is the wrapping that I've done today. I think it looks so cute and I forgot to show you this paper as well. It's quite similar to the Matalan one, but it's like a creamy off-white colour. All nice and matching. I absolutely love wrapping, but one is so time-consuming. This isn't even a fraction of the amount of stuff I have to wrap. And also, it just makes so much mess. But yeah, I'm really happy with what I've done so far. Yes, it looks so stupid. I mean, it's kind of cute, but I wanted to just put a bow on top because I know whose present this is. But knowing me, by the time it gets to Christmas, I'll just forget. So I've popped a tag on and it was either have one hanging down like one of these and have it too long or just pop a square one on but even the tag itself is bigger than the box. But what can you do? How cute are these little tags that I got in the little pan shop by my house? I won't even scare you with my appearance right now, but I thought I'd film this because I'm putting together some little Christmas chocolate slash sweet treat boxes. So I've got this big tube of Jaffa cakes. I'm hoping they're in little mini packets. 
I'm pretty sure when you get these big tubes, they're wrapped individually inside, but we'll see. And then I've got this Tesco bag here. So in here, I got these milk chocolate lollies, which I got from Lidl. And honestly, sometimes I find the cheap chocolate tastes nicer than like normal dairy milk and stuff. So I got these and there's lots in there. I then got some candy canes. I always get these at Christmas time. I've got this little selection box that was in my other video. I don't wanna keep it for myself, so I think I'm just gonna open it up and then pop one of the chocolates in each box. These are actually for my grandpa. I don't think you can see them properly. That's better. I got these little Guinness chocolates from Matalan, like mini pints of Guinness. It's his favorite drink in terms of alcohol, obviously and he loves chocolate so I got these they're obviously not going in the kids boxes I then got a bunch of chocolate coins all exactly the same and they're from Wilco except these have Christmas patterns on and these are your traditional gold coins I think I got six of these I did get six however I forgot that I actually opened one and me and my grandpa started eating them so I'm just going to open these and pop a few in the boxes I've also got this I don't know if I'm gonna take it out of the wrapper I could do because they're individually wrapped but this is for my niece and nephew because they're only little they can eat chocolate but I find this is better for babies again these are not going in there I basically bought these just for my house so for me and my grampy after eight straws we love after eights then something I've actually never seen before because I wanted to get some sweets as well as chocolate I got this Haribo sweet medley again I got this from Wilco I'm assuming it comes like this in a tray but what do we have in here jelly babies these are hands down my favorite sweets ever I could literally demolish a whole bag of these so quickly giant straws these literally make me feel so sick but everyone I know loves these especially Ryan jelly beans I'm not fussed on those not that I'm going to be eating them but just giving you my opinion star mix is okay not my favorite definitely prefer tang fast sticks out of these three but the reason I love the super mix is because it has the jelly babies in there when I think of jelly babies though I think of the bigger ones I don't even know what I call these I just call them like the little people in the Harry bows but yeah jelly babies I think of the big powdery ones so I got those and finally to put them all in I was gonna make my own boxes like get plain boxes and put labels on them or a Christmas picture but I just went on eBay to save the hassle and I found these you could probably make them yourself by just getting a template online and picking your own photo. But I couldn't be bothered with the hassle, guys. So here's some little reindeer boxes. You just pop them into shape. There's the little reindeer boxes. Literally so cute. They remind me of Happy Meal boxes or those boxes that you get when you go to like a children's play centre or like a soft play sort of thing. When you're younger and you get either treats in them like goodie bags or you can have like chicken nuggets and chips like a happy meal so i'm gonna start filling these how annoying they're actually sealed which is really good but i didn't want to just pop like the strawberries for my brother and these for my sister i wanted to mix them around so i'm still gonna have to open them and separate them but i suppose it is good that they've come in a packet okay i can't help myself i have to eat one of these i don't know if they're new or if i've just been living under a rock but i've never seen these joined together these are the ones that i'm used to eating so I hope they taste the same. They feel the same. They're just a lot bigger and they're joined together. This is what the Jaffa cakes were like inside. No, I'm not going to be able to close it. So, okay, perfect. If you take them out of the box, they fit right down the bottom. So I'm going to pop these in for my two brothers and my sister. I'm now going to pop in a chocolate lolly. I'll keep the buttons and the Freddo aside for my nephew because I think they're the ones he's most likely to be able to eat. So that leaves a chomp, a fudge and a curly whirly. They can fight over whoever's having what. We've then got a candy cane each. One, two, three. I always have these cellophane cones in the house because I like making treat related things so I've got those and these little gold ties so this is what I'm going to put the Haribo sweets in I don't want to fill them too much because I want them to obviously fit in the box and I want the box to be able to close so I think this is okay 
I'm sure they all love these. So I'm just tying the little gold ties around them to keep them fresh. There's one. I just trimmed the top so they'll hopefully fit in the box. There we have my brother's and my sister's boxes. I think they look so good. A little mix of chocolate, sweets and Jaffa cakes, whether you want to call them a cake or a biscuit. Definitely a cake in my opinion. Okay, you'll have to excuse what I look like. I was going to say it's been one of those days. It definitely has, but it's also been one of those months. And it's only the 10th day in, so yeah, not feeling great. Um, But I thought I'd add some more to this vlog, stick with the Christmassy related stuff. Because I went to Poundland yesterday, haven't been there for ages. Popped in thinking I was just going to get some little things like tags for the presents. And I ended up spending something like £66. My camera battery is now flashing, so that's great. I'm going to have to film the next bit on my phone, so apologies if the quality or the sound is really bad. But I just thought I'd show you what I bought, if anyone's interested. So here's my shopping. I bought two of these reusable, like, bags for life. Thought they were really cute with the unicorns on. This isn't everything I got because some of it was extra, like, stocking fillers, so I didn't want to show that in case anyone's watching. So I think in the last clip I showed you the little treat boxes that I was making. And I actually posted a photo on Facebook because I thought they looked pretty good, if I do say so myself. And I was wondering if anyone would be interested in ordering any. And obviously I'd make them and they can either collect them or I'll drop them off. So I went out and got more stuff for those. So I got three of the Milky Bar selection boxes for the baby boxes. I already showed you the chocolate lollies from Lidl in Poundland. They did white chocolate ones, so I thought... Even though babies can also have milk chocolate, I always associate white chocolate with them. So I could pop these in the baby boxes or either. I got two packs of those. I also got normal selection boxes like the ones I had yesterday. And again, I used the buttons and the freddos for the baby boxes and these chocolates for the children's boxes. I got more gold coins, but the ones in Poundland are massive. Like in the other bags from Wilco, they had one or two giant ones. But these are all really big and really thick. I'm sure the kids won't complain. But yeah, I just got two of those. And as well as adding a couple of those, I thought I could add some of these. You know, like the little Christmassy foil chocolates. Little Santas. So two bags of those as well. I did also get the normal milk chocolate ones of these. Even though I had some left, I didn't know how many I'd need. And a lot of people were actually interested in the boxes. So... I went to Lidl and got more of these because I was getting food shopping anyway, but they're downstairs. I then saw these, Snickers and Friends selection box. Never seen one like this before. I've only ever seen like the dairy milk ones. So I got two of these. I've only got one on me, but this is just to go with someone's present. I like to get people like a little chocolatey or sweets gift as well to go with their main present. I also got these because these are mine and my grandpa's favourites and I haven't bought any yet. And I always get them for Christmas. This is quite a small box. I should have got a bigger one. But they were just there as I was going to the till. So I grabbed them. We were only talking about these the other day. So yeah, I'm excited to eat these. And then like I said, I like to get little chocolate things to go with people's presents. So I got three boxes of these. I never know how to pronounce the name. But these chocolates are unreal. So nice. And I thought the boxes were so cute. They're only little, but there's quite a few chocolates in there. And it's also a perfect little stocking filler. So as we can see, a lot of chocolate. The guy at the till probably thought it was a little bit over the top. And now for what I actually went in for, I got some gift tags. I love these. They're really big, nice and sparkly, and they match a lot of the wrapping paper. I actually got two packs of those. Can never have too many. And then I got these ones because I thought they were just really pretty little wreaths and like Christmas trees. And then finally, I just got two packs of gift bows. I love these because they have small ones, which I use for smaller presents. And obviously the bigger ones for bigger presents. I don't really like the green. The other pack I bought only had red, gold and silver. But I will use them. I'm just not a fan of the green ones. And that's pretty much... Not everything I got, but that's the main stuff that I wanted to show you. Because like I said, some of the other stuff is actual presents. So yeah, there we have a little Poundland haul.